She has graced our screens for over 40 years, four of those in the hit TV show American Horror Story. We thought we saw the last of her back in 2015, however we've just received the news we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. Now this week during the TCA Summer Press Tour, actress Sarah Paulson was talking about her directorial debut, which is going to be the sixth episode of the upcoming eighth season of American Horror Story, Apocalypse, during which she announced the diabolical Constance Langdon will be returning this season. Yes, it's official, we're getting another season with Jessica Lange. We last saw Lange and Murphy's other effects show feud as the fiery Joan Crawford, which was a surprise to everyone after Lange had officially said American Horror Story Freak Show would be a farewell acting performance. She had an interview on the Hollywood Reporter's Roundtable back in 2015, which sort of explains her relationship with acting. Let's take a look. I think about, like, having it finish at some point, you know, really saying, okay, I've done this for 40 years, it's been great, um, but now I'm done. But the, the thing about acting is, you know, it's so seductive. Mm -hmm. You know, you get drawn into something and it's like, oh, yeah, this is, you know, it's like a love affair. It's like something, there's something really alive about it and you feel great and it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's physical and it's all these things and then you remember why you were doing it to begin with. So now she's backflipped on her decision on retiring once again, but fans of AHS couldn't be happier. Plus, she's actually been rumoured to star alongside Gary Oldman in the upcoming 2020 movie, Flying Horse, so it looks like she's a long way off retiring yet. Lang is commonly known as one of the best actors of her generation, closely following stars such as Meryl Streep, who ironically lost one of the lead roles back in the original King Kong to Lang because Streep was, quote, too ugly. I'm sorry I'm not beautiful enough to be in King Kong. <laughs> However, since then, Lang has won two Academy Awards, a Tony Award, three Emmy Awards, and five Golden Globe Awards. So Sarah Paulson has said Constance will be returning in the sixth episode, but according to other sites, that is rumoured to be the only episode she'll be in. I find this hard to believe, and I feel like she's going to be a critical character as soon as she's introduced. Plus, I doubt creator Ryan Murphy would waste such a talent as Lang on just one episode. However, there's still supposed to be this big twist about halfway through this season, but Ryan Murphy said that'd be in episode five, which is one full episode before Lang's appearance. Now, Lang hasn't been the only character that's been confirmed. Murphy has since confirmed most every Body. And a bit of a spoiler warning here. Returning to reprise their roles, we have Thaisa Farmiga and even Stevie Nicks. What is interesting though is Gabori Sadib, Emma Roberts, Surprise, bitch. Bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Lily Rabe and Francis Conroy have also been announced. And last we saw, they were killed in season three or season five for Queenie. So maybe Cordelia's got some more resurgence to do to help take down the big bad, rumored to be Michael Langdon. Cody Fern has been confirmed to play Langdon, Lang's character Constance's grandson, who is presumed to be the Antichrist and apparently hasn't changed his shirt in 20 years. Which also raises the question, how old is Constance at this point? She wasn't a young woman back in season one and now she's got a grown adult son? Who knows, it's a possibility she might just be in flashbacks. This week we also got our first few teaser trailers for Apocalypse, which didn't give too much away with its beautiful visuals, apart from it's looking like it's going to take the Apocalypse kind of literally, with an atomic bomb destroying everything in its path and the demonic hand that we saw from the posters starting time all over again. In another teaser, that same hand punctures a fig, revealing two black scorpions, hinting that there may be two antagonists performing the devil's work. The obvious guess being that the character of Michael Langdon is paving the way for a new demonic world, which could actually set the scene for seasons 9 and 10, which have also been confirmed. What do you guys think? Are they building up too much hype around this season that they can't possibly live up to it? Or is there a chance that merging two of American Horror Story's most popular seasons is actually going to create the mother of all seasons? I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments. But until next time, thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button. And if you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.